Now, why does it seem there's a group of people out there that really want this Sonic movie to fail? What's up, geeks and gamers? It's your boy, Drunk3PO. I saw Sonic the Hedgehog movie yesterday, and I really enjoyed it for what it was. And the reason why I saw this film is because they actually listened to the consumer, to the people, and said, yeah, we'll, we'll give you what you want. Really? What a novel idea. If you don't remember, they released the trailer last year with this Sonic. And when we saw it, we were all like, oh, ho! No. They then came back and said, we hear you loud and clear. We want you to enjoy this film. We want you to see this film. So we will make the changes to give you what you want. And that's how we ended up getting the new Sonic that we all wanted. Listening to the consumer. What a novel idea, Hollywood. Huh. Go figure. It seems that there's some kind of coming together with critics with Birds of Prey people, with Harley Quinn fans, and all these others to try to destroy this film, to try to take it down, because they don't want their movie, they don't want their Birds of Prey boring movie to be overshadowed by a video game family film. If you didn't see what was going on, this is what was going on. Before the movie was even released, apparently Harley Quinn fans were angry and started throwing out some ridiculous tweets on how they went and saw this film and how they saw this 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 junk in this film and decided to take their family and go watch Birds of Prey and have a much better experience. And the movie didn't even come out yet. Next, you've got articles coming out all over the place saying, why go see this film? This film was made for no one. This film is divisive. This film is this. This film is that. It's apparent, it's apparent that whatever media and, the, and this whole group does not want Sonic the Hedgehog to succeed. Did I say Sonics? I might have said Sonics, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It has gotten so bad that even if you look at the Rotten Tomato score, do we really care about Rotten Tomatoes anymore, honestly? Do they have any credibility left? Probably not. But still, if you look at the audience score compared to the critic score, they do not want this movie to succeed. It seems as if this family film is shaking up their narrative and threatening their all-female movie. Huh, you can't even criticize this film without being attacked. If you hadn't noticed, and if you don't have a Twitter, you're probably the smartest people in the room. But on Twitter, Anna, that Star Wars girl, made a little critique about the film. It was this tweet here. She has been bombarded and attacked by some crazed idiotic fans, even calling her some such names that are just like, are, did you, do you even know who, who Anna is? Many of them calling her a boy that just doesn't like women. It says that Star Wars girl in her Twitter. I mean, whatever. I think Jeremy was correct when he said this is a very important movie to support. It must succeed. Why? It tells studios that, hey, if you listen to the consumer, if you listen to the fan, if you listen to the people that will give you money, we will give you money. Let me break it down a little bit lower for the people in the back. We have money. We want to give to you for something that we want to see. We have money. We don't want bad movies and agenda-driven and all this stuff kind of movies shoved in our face. And when we refuse to see it, don't call us names. And stop blaming everything in the world because of your movie's failure because it's just a bad, boring movie. They blamed everything under the sun for this Birds of Prey movie's failure. They blamed the coronavirus. They blamed um, the name. What's the name of it now? They even blamed you, Mr. Male. They, they blame men, even though more men went to see it than women. Go figure. And so it's obvious there's a group of people out there that are scared of what they are seeing. They are scared 
that the power might come actually back to the people in Hollywood because we want to support a film that supported us in our ideas and what we were telling them. They're scared because if that's the case, then other movies and other things might follow suit of Sonic and say, you know what? Well, what do you guys want? Here's the trailer. What do you think? Is it? What, what is it? What do you want? Is that where it's at? Is that where it needs to be? Should we tweak it a little bit? And we as the consumer will go back and say, hey, that's pretty good. Let's go. Or maybe just tweak a few things or maybe this or maybe that. And that puts the power back, you know, to us. My final thought is, I think you should support this film. I think you should go watch this film. I really enjoyed this film. And let's just send a message to these people that are trying to push things down our throat, that are trying to blame many of you for their Hollywood failures because they labeled you with all these disgusting labels. And lastly, I didn't see Birds of Prey. I had no intention of seeing Birds of Prey. I don't know if it's woke. I don't know about its agenda. I'm not saying it is. All I'm saying is the people that I know saw the film just told me it was boring. And it had no appeal to them whatsoever. It was a boring slow story so that's all i can go on with that but it's clear that there is some kind of machine out there trying to get sonic to fail because of birds of prey anyway that's the video tell me what you think in the comment section below this is jay with geeks and gamers i'll catch you next time